This is Marie from Underground Crafter. Grab that hook and let's get ready to crochet. Thanks to King Cole for providing cotton top DK and to Pastiche Accessories for providing a crochet hook with a polymer clay handle for this video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you four ways to crochet into a chain space. Before we get started, let's talk about what a chain space is. This is the space like this created by chaining and then skipping stitches in the previous row or round. Each of these four methods may not be appropriate for your specific pattern. So I'm gonna start with the simplest way, which is the one that is used in the most types of crochet patterns. This first way would be to crochet into the space itself. For this particular pattern, we're using double crochets. So I'm gonna yarn over first, and then I'm gonna insert my hook straight into this hole. I'm not gonna try to catch any loops specifically. I'm just gonna put my hook into the chain space, that total opening, and then I will drop a loop, and then I'll continue my stitch. Now this type of method, and I'll show you how we do it again, uh, for double crochet you would yarn over, you're going to insert your hook through the chain space hole, then yarn over and pull up a loop, and then if you were working a double crochet it would be yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. This approach is the best for any type of stitch where you may be working more stitches into the chain space than there are chains. So for example, if you were crocheting the granny stitch, which usually would be three double crochets worked into one, a chain one space, that would be the best approach. Now I'm gonna show you some other approaches. I'm just going to, as we're talking about this, crochet along to the next chain space. And basically this next approach is, uh, actually the next three approaches all work if the number of stitches you're crocheting into the chain space is the same amount as the number of chains in the chain space. So for example, if you have a chain two space and you would be working two stitches into it, this approach would work. We're going to look at the chain and you can see that there are two loops on the chain. There is a front loop, which is facing towards you, and there is a back loop, which is facing away from you. So for this particular approach, we're going to crochet into the front loop. So we would insert our hook in between this sort of oval loop of the first chain, so that it's on the front, and then we would yarn over, drop a loop, and again, if we're doing a double crochet, we would continue to work our double crochet. So I'll show you that again. This is working into the front loop of the chain space. And again, this is, so we have our loop. We're going into the front. This is a good one to use if your uh, number of stitches that you're working into the chain space is the same as the number of uh, chains in the space. So if we compare these, you can see that on this one where we worked into the chain space, the stitches actually can move a little bit. So they're sort of flexible in that space because they're not worked into any particular stitch. There's also a small gap on the side of each of those stitches worked into the chain space. If we look at these two, they're much closer to the stitches from the row before because they're worked into individual stitches and we don't really see the loop on this side. But when we turn it on the other side, we can see the unworked part of that chain loop a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a third way. And again, I'm just gonna keep crocheting until I get to our next chain space. This third way is very similar to what I did. It's basically the opposite. So for this particular method, we're going to crochet into the back loop of each chain only. So again, we're gonna look at our chain and we're gonna identify this back loop, which would be here. Okay, so first I'm gonna yarn over, then I'm gonna insert my hook only through the back loop and then yarn over and draw up a loop 
and then continue my stitch. And we're going to repeat that into the next chain space as well. So go into the back loop only, then yarn over and draw up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two loops twice. So now with this version, just like the last one, it's close together, right? So we don't have the gap that we get when we just chain into when we just stitch into the chain space. We can see a very slight uh, texture of the front loop that we didn't crochet into. So that's the third way. Now I'm going to just unravel here and then I'm going to show you a fourth way into the same chain space. And just like the last two that I showed, this is also an appropriate method if the number of stitches that you're working into the chain space is the same as the number of chains. So if you look underneath here, you'll see that there's this little back bump that you often see uh, on the bottom of chains. So for this approach, we're going to go insert our hook so that it goes underneath both of these loops. So the front and the back loop, this is a little trickier, this particular approach, but it has a nice look. And then the back loop is underneath our hook. So just to show you that again, we're going to insert our hook under the top part of the chain, which would be that sort of oval shape. And underneath our hook will be the bottom loop of the chain. Compared to the other three approaches, this one will be a little bit harder to maneuver. So we're going to yarn over and very carefully pull our hook through the loop. And you can see now this bottom bump is more obvious and then we're going to finish our double crochet. And we'll try that again in the next stitch. So again, here's the bottom bump, this little uh, dent there. And again, we're going to insert our hook gently so that it goes under both loops, the front and the back loop on top of the stitch. And underneath our hook will be the bottom loop. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through. So I hope you enjoyed this video with four different ways to crochet into a chain space. We have uh, crocheting directly into the chain space. We have crocheting into the front loops only, crocheting into the back loop only, and crocheting under both loops of the chain space. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed your project. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on whatever platform you're watching this video. Have a great day.